So this lesson is all about keeping your composure and playing good golf after a bad shot. So often, you know, we put a lot of focus and a lot of attention into our pre-shot routine. We visualize our shot and then it doesn't go the way we want. And then an emotional reaction can kind of ensue afterwards. So this is how we're going to keep cool. Going easy breezy today with the driver. Um, the key here on the first, on the second hole at Wolf Dancers, you want to keep it a little bit towards the left. Um, like I said, we're going into the wind today, but if you can kind of place it a little bit to the left, then you shorten the hole up for yourself a little bit. <sighs> Tapping into the who. All right. That's money. That should be really, really, really good. Note, y'all, there are three different check-ins before hitting a shot. One when you're teeing up or arriving at your shot, one before you hit, and then one after for post to keep you cool for the following Here. shot. Our set ourselves up for a good second shot. Great drive. And uh, let's keep this flow. 167, and this pin is in the back. So this is two tier, that front area will send everything forward. So we want to make sure we get to our landing zone all the way to the back. 167 into the breeze. I think I like the idea of a, that soft six that I hit back there. Let's do that again. But we're doing this thing where we're clubbing up a little bit and then swinging smoother. So we're going to tap into the who and hit the second shot. Alrighty. That should be all right. I think we're just off the fringe on the left, but I think we made it to the back tier. So that's, that's really all we wanted. So again, in between the shots, back to the breath, relaxing the body you can want to tense up. So these check-ins are repeated check-ins is what keeps us loose and, and feeling relaxed and uh, on to the next one. All right, so we're pin high, just a little tuck to the left. Uh, the ball drew a little bit uh, to the left side, but not a problem. We got great short game for this, and uh, but I'm happy we made it to this back tier. Like I was saying here at Wolfie, this green's huge. So if they place it back here, you definitely want to be back here, and you do not want to get yourself caught up in the front there. So uh, we did a great job of setting ourselves up for this, and ball sitting up nice. Pretty straightforward little, little chip. I've got a 60. So here's a really good moment where I've loaded the who, I've gone through the whole protocol and the shot doesn't go exactly the way I wanted. Um, but again, it, it's not all about getting the shot to go where you want. Loading the who and going through this protocol isn't necessarily about always getting the shot that you want. Yes, it does promote it, but the goal of it well, is to preserve your emotions if a shot doesn't exactly go the way, the way you do want. Um, that's the foundation of it, right? Understanding that if we lose our cool over a shot, then it can be really easy to downward spiral from there. So when shots don't happen the way you want them to, you'd be glad that you loaded the who because it allows you to focus on what you got to do in front of you. A lot of golfers will hit a shot like that, you know, want it to be a little bit closer for this par putt and be kicking themselves. Instead, here we are focused on what we got to do. I'm already seeing the lion, kind of see what this putt's going to do. Let's do that. 
So the old me right about here would have started to get upset, get emotional about this bogey, the last chip, and it would have, you know, continued its way down the round, costing me shots. You know, this way emotions get uh, pre preserved, you know, they don't budge. Uh, you get to play your best golf by not letting those emotions take over. You're not letting that stress eat away at your body, you know, so that's another thing we want to stay, you know, very conscious of is the stress that we put ourselves through on the course as well. Yeah, so good hole there, but I'm very happy with it. There's a big difference between doing what you want and not being happy with it and uh, actually having things not go the way you want but still being happy with it. Um, it's definitely a little secret ingredient to being able to keep moving forward. Didn't hit that ship shot the way I wanted, but that's okay. Was very, very aware while I did it didn't execute, but again, um, not losing energy to being, or dwelling on it or being upset about it is so key that I'm just able to move forward. Almost made the par putt. The only thing that happened there is that I was expecting a break, it didn't break, but I hit the putt where I wanted. And again, that's focusing on the positive, right? I didn't make it, but I hit it where I wanted. I did what I wanted. Um, and on to the next one, goldfish style.